My dear sister, Melissa, who was pretty close to my own age, was a silly, fun person that we absolutely loved. Now, in our family, we had four girls at one time, not counting my mom, and one bathroom. And no matter what happened, no matter what time, Melissa would be the first one always into the bathroom. Melissa also liked to do something else. Melissa liked to scare us. She would jump out from places and underneath things and inside things just to scare the bejeebies out of us. And uh, she was quite well known for being the person that freaked everybody out or scared us to death. One night as a family, we'd all gathered around the TV and we were watching an Alfred Hitchcock movie and it was pretty scary. Well, as the movie was getting to the end, the minute the credits came up, boom, Melissa was off and into the bathroom. We had one bathroom. If you wanted to take a bath, then you had to be the first one. Well, we all had to sit around and wait while Melissa was in running the water, taking her bath. Now, in our bathroom, we also had a laundry chute. And this laundry chute happened to be right behind the hand towel. So there was a little window. It was a maybe so big and just big enough that the hand towel, hand towel would cover it or the bath towel, whichever was hanging up there. And, uh, but if, when you took your bath, all your dirty clothes, you could just open that little window and shove it down and it'd go right down into the laundry room. Well, I got this great idea. I thought, you know, we've just watched an extremely scary movie. It's late at night. Melissa's in the bathroom. I can hear the tub water running and she's in there singing, making all kinds of noises and da -da -boo -da -boo -da -boo -da -boo -da boo And I thought I can sneak down the back stairs into the laundry room. Now I had to be really careful because our stairs would squeak. But if you walked on the side of them and you moved really slow, they wouldn't squeak. And I thought, with the water running and she's singing at the top of her lungs, I might make it. So I snuck down the stairs and I opened the laundry room very carefully just to make sure the door didn't squeak. I got in and that, you can look up from the laundry room and you can see that laundry chute. If you grab something, you can actually pry that door open. Now I very gently pushed until the door opened about that much. And there's about this much clearance from the door and the towel. And as I opened it up, I could see to this side the water running into the tub. Couldn't see Melissa because the towel was there. But I could see that the water was running and I could tell she wasn't in the tub yet. So I thought I'm going to wait and just at the right minute, I'll stick my hands out, move the curtain and scream as loud as I can. The Alfred Hitchcock movie that we'd been watching was the one where the girl gets stabbed in the shower. <laughs> so I waited. I could hear her step into the water. I saw her sit down and her feet come to where I could see where the faucet was in the water. And then I saw her hands start reaching. And as they got almost ready to turn on those, turn those knobs off, I went, Wah! all I saw was a tsunami of water in that tub because she was shaking so bad and the water was a splishing and a splashing all over the place. Everybody in the house erupted in laughter. Finally, we got Melissa and scared the tsunami out of her.